Okay, it's time to learn how to create 2x6 layouts in SparkBoot. Okay, we go into the Photo Booth or Mirror Booth, depending on which one you're using, and go into Photo Layouts. It does not matter if you're using a portrait layout in here right now, or a square layout, or widescreen, or whatever. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> You are going to go into the layout editor and inside of the layout editor you click on the new layout okay with the new layout you name it what you want i am going to call this two by six vertical because it's a two by six vertical strip i'm going to use the four by the landscape wide I'm sorry, I'm going to use portrait up and down style, and I'm going to use the widescreen photo boxes. There's two ways to make layouts. If you click OK now, it will make a double strip 4 by 6 where you have to create the left side and the right side. There's a shortcut, which is the strip layout printed double. I'm first going to create a double strip the normal way without the easy way. This is the easy way, really. I'm going to click OK. When I click OK, it opens up the 4x6 vertical layout for me to create double strips. Well, how do you know what is on what side and where the center is? By pressing down the control and the letter G for guide. Over here, control and the letter G. It brings up a green line down the middle. That's the vertical, the center of the, from left to right. And there's a green line across the middle this way. That's the center line from top to bottom. We're just concerned with the one in the middle here. You would add a photo box over here on the left side, which is exactly the 600 width. I would make it smaller than that by going over the width here and taking this down to at least at least 400, uh, 560 so that I'm at least 20 away from each side, okay? Because 40 more make 600. Bring in the first photo box. Bring in the second one at the same size, put it 20 away from the left. Bring in the third at the, the third side right here and put it at 20 so it's from the left. And if you want a fourth photo box, you bring it in down here. It's at 20 from the left. So they are all look like they're pretty well spaced out nicely. That's not a problem. You know about adding backgrounds. We're not getting into that. We're not getting into titling. You would add a title at the bottom, and I'm going to just make this smaller text so that I can put it right down at the bottom. Uh, your text here, and I'm going to put this down here at the bottom so you have text. Okay? So when you preview this, you should click on the display split over here. Display split will only show the left side, so we can get a preview of what it looks like when we get working on it. Click on the eyeball. It opens up the preview window to preview the layout. Looks good to me. Okay, I'm going to close that up. Now, to make the other side the easy way, hold down the shift key while clicking on photo box one and photo box two and photo box three, photo box four, and the title. Okay. Once you have all the four, all five of those clicked, everything that's in your layout, you hold the control key and hit the C key to copy. It copies it. You don't see it do anything. Then you click the control key and the V key and it pastes everything 10 pixels down and 10 pixels to the right in order to move them all evenly. I'm going to hold down the control key and click on the arrow up key on the keyboard that will take everything back up the 10 spaces so they're now all level 
and now I'm holding down the control key while I'm clicking the right arrow and it's moving them all 10 paces at a time. By holding it down, it's a little faster. And then you can get it exactly where it needs to be, just like that. Okay? So once you've got that done and the display split is set, it will automatically create a special save folder called prints. But now it's only going to show you half of the layout, the left side, doesn't matter which side because they're both identical. It'll show half the layout in your album gallery. Okay, so when I close this and go out of here, it will show the single strip, the double strip up and down, but it will save it in a different folder. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I opened up my save folder because I have a special folder for every one of my events. And this was the most recent event that I did. And in the save folder, in the main folder, it saves all of the single strips, okay, in the main folder. I still have a singles folder where I save all of the singles. But back in the main folder, it also creates that print folder for the double strips that's sent to the printer, just like these, okay? Just like you're accustomed to seeing. So that's pretty much how it saves them as a double strip, but yet in the album where you're looking at them, they will be single strips, which is nice, okay? Now, what you just saw was the layout that I created horizontal, okay? Many of you probably didn't even know you could do horizontal layouts. You can do a double strip horizontal like this one, okay? And it can be created as a single strip instead of the double strip. So when you create it as a single strip, when you select the new layout and you name it and you put it on landscape with widescreen photo boxes, you will be checking the strip layout printed double. Now, before I do that, I am going to make it faster for us here. Now, I'm making it faster by just naming this two by six, two by six, H O R Z, horizontal. Okay? It's going to be landscape. It's going to use wide photo boxes and it's going to be a single layout printed double. I click OK. I get a photo box that's horizontal blank. And now I can make it a fast layout by clicking couple buttons on my screen and I have 90% of what I had in that layout because I copied it all okay we're gonna pretend I had a background in here and let me go find one real quick in my layouts that I have that are two by six horizontal backgrounds I'm just gonna grab something in here quickly let's use this one okay and I'm gonna hit create so I'm just throwing in a temporary background just so we have something nice and fancy in the background. And now when I close this layout in the layout editor, it will automatically show the double strip here. Like I said, it will create a print folder with the double strip sent to the printer, and it will also have when you are looking at the previews of the layouts, it will show only the top or bottom side of the layout. Okay? So that's how you can create them faster. One other way you can create layouts is the way I would never suggest to anybody. If you create a new layout, 
and I'm going to call this 2 by 6 no 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 2 by 6 no 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 <laughs> okay because I would never suggest doesn't matter if it's a portrait layout or a landscape layout doesn't matter okay do not ever create a two by six single strip layout okay because when you create a single strip layout your printer will use just as much media to create a full four by six layout as it uses for a single two by six layout so when you run out of media you will still have a half a roll of paper that is unusable because you cannot buy more media. So do not buy, do not create two by six layouts. Yes, I know they tell you the, soft, the software in the printer can do a two by six, but they don't tell you that it's wasting the paper and the media is being used up. That gets you to buy more because you can't buy extra media only. Okay, there are some newer printers that actually back up the roll of media. I'm not sure how well they work. I would not suggest any more work on that printer than is already going through and going back and forth. Then media is pretty thin stuff. It can get ripped easier, in my opinion. You can do it whatever way you want, but I'm just giving you my advice. I would never do a two by six single strip layout that's pretty much it on making creating layouts so if i go back over here into my alice layout over here that was the last one i did and that's how you do double strip layouts i hope that helps